about this and of course what lies ahead for the incumbents we have uh, Abhinish Roy joining in he's of course executive director at Nuvama Institutional Equities Abhinish good afternoon good to have you on I don't know what is it about the paints business because it seems I mean all the big business groups almost all of them want to jump right in you know from uh, the, the the jindals to now you know we have of course aggressive moves coming in from this uh, this group as well Aditya Birla uh, what do you make of the Birla Group's plans and uh, you know, in terms of just complete disruption, what are we in for over the next couple of months? Yeah, thanks. Uh, yes, definitely uh, interesting development. Uh, Birla Opus brand is exactly in line with our expectation, the expected use of Birla and the use of the word Opus again shows that uh, uh, Grasim is looking at creating here uh, business size based on profitable uh, model, not being uh, just very focused on pricing. So yes, definitely uh, for Grassim, this is very adjacent to its current uh, businesses like putty and white cement, etc. Important to note that uh, Asian Paints, Berger, etc. have taken huge market share in putty against uh, the existing cement players. So it was important for Grassim also to step in here. Of course, uh, paints industry is very exciting from outside. If you see 70,000 crore growing in double digits in most years, paints volume growth and sales growth has been faster than consumer staples companies. And in our view, 30% of the market is in terms of local and unorganized. So that clearly will be up for grabs. Uh, how does this pan out? So this is not a two month uh, time frame. This will get launched essentially four or five months later in Q4, February, March. But we do expect that uh, the smaller paint companies like uh, Kanzai, Exo, and to an extent Berger also, uh, they face a more real risk from uh, uh, Grassin. If you see last 20 years, uh, no new paint uh, entrant has uh, created market share beyond 2% because it's a very tough entry barrier. The kind of uh, advertising spend Asian and Berger paints do 4 to 5% of their revenue goes towards advertising distribution wise only 1 lakh paint shops are available and all the paint shops have paint companies have direct relationship versus the cement companies which have the wholesale route plus in product differentiation and distribution not too much can be done because existing paint companies are extremely formidable so in my view this is more of a impact in terms of multiple it will take a lot of time for any new player to really ramp up but for a lot of the home decor companies which have say gone into paint in the last two years in terms of product diversification i think this will make life that much tougher and clearly for the smaller paint companies clearly multiple uh could derate but for asian paint my sense is some derating could happen in near term because q2 numbers will be a bit weak for paint companies because of very high rainfall and festival demand shifting but gross and EBITDA margin will be very strong in Q2. We expect 400 to 500 pips gross and EBITDA margin expansion for Asian paints and budget paints by a while in Q2. But volumes will be soft and sales will be soft. Hmm. I remember uh, Sherwin Williams had entered India and they are the leaders in the world paint industry, but they couldn't quite make a dent in the Indian market. And finally, Sherwin Williams decided to exit. Uh, Abhinish, uh, you know, afternoon and thanks for uh, joining in. Grassim, a couple of months back, had also launched some sparkle painting services. Uh, you know, that was also a pilot project. Uh, could you just give us the correlation between the sparkle news and what they've announced today? Absolutely. For every paint company, two things are there. One is the product which gets sold through the dealers. And then you have the service wherein essentially you say, dial up Asian paints and they'll come and give the full solution. So the earlier thing which you mentioned in terms of sparkle, that was essentially painting service. That was not the painting product. Painting service has already been launched. Uh, so it is obviously not through the current uh, uh, brand which has got announced, Bidla Opus, that is the product. And uh, they are also importing a lot of the wood finishes. Those they are currently testing, taking customer feedback, uh, uh, seeing how the R&D capability is in terms of product durability, product uh, uh, aesthetics and all that. But uh, that is service part. Uh, but going ahead, definitely in Q4, the real product launch will happen. The advertising spends for all companies will go up. Coming back to Sherwin Williams, yes, they are the globally number one company and they could not compete against Asian Paints and Berger. In fact, Berger bought them. So yes, this is something which is tough. Uh, just one last example. In uh, consumer businesses, just distribution or manufacturing will not give you the recipe for success. We have seen Hindustan Unilever, which is India's foremost consumer staples company, 
they tried noodles for example and some of the other product but they couldn't succeed because existing incumbents were there so this is something which will pan out for the oh the multiples we... could derate a bit for existing paint companies Okay, all right. Uh, we'll leave it there, Abneesh. Quick conversation today, but thanks for joining in. Always interesting listening to you.